everyone, Deem Knight here, and I'm here with Claptrap in the Cluster Pandora again to test a weapon called the Rifle, which is the Dahl Assault Rifle with a Torque Barrel. And the Rifle in Borderlands 2 is a pretty weak weapon, as you may know. So I wanted to try this out in the pre-sequel with a glitch version to see how it will perform. Alright, just gonna um, reload here a bit to get my load explode stacks. Okay, so we got a badass over here, so let's see how, how this will perform. Um, this weapon is not able to score critical hits, which definitely doesn't help. And I think I can already tell that this isn't a very good weapon. It definitely struggles in dealing with badasses a lot. And even with small enemies right here. Alright, so we got the overload glitch now. Maybe this will help the weapon a bit. The the um fire rate doesn't seem to be decreased, at least the burst fire. So that's pretty nice. I guess it's the same deal with every Dahl Assault Rifle. And we just went down here. Okay, this weapon seriously struggles with killing things. I think it's safe to say that this is a pretty bad weapon. Even in Borderlands the pre-sequel with a... Um, with the glitch version. So far the only real glitch that does help this weapon was the overload glitch, this one right here. That makes it a little bit better, but still nothing too special. I should probably use my cryo grenade a bit more. If it would hit something. I think it's a bit confused. Almost. Okay, we'll just throw another one. Okay, you can do it. I believe in your grenade. Okay, so it hit him, but it didn't froze him. Alright, fuck this, I'm just gonna freeze him with the Phrygia. If he can be frozen. Yeah, there we go. And now we got... Oh wow, this, this actually did some damage right there. But overall, this is not a very good um, action skill. And this is pretty frustrating with Tedior weapons actually. And we ran out of ammo, so um, I haven't mentioned it before, but this assault rifle is very ammo inefficient. And it sure takes forever to kill stuff. This uh, basically is the beer cat from Borderlands 2, just weaker. And I think we're gonna die here. Maybe I'll get a second win with the new cam. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna try to kill the rest of the enemies in this area here with the rifle. And that's just going to be it for this video. I think um, I don't need to do any more testing. This is a pretty bad weapon. Alright, uh, um, we got the... The explosive boost thing from Claptrap now. Maybe that does help a little bit, but I doubt it. Okay, so let's freeze him. Should probably get some stacks of load and explode. Alright, that should be enough. So let's see. Yeah, as you can see, spectacular damage right there. 48,000 if he's not frozen. That's just... Oh god. <laughs> This is a pretty bad weapon. And I don't like the cryo grenade too much. I guess it's because the the specific badass right here is moving um a lot. So cryo grenades aren't the best against those. Not that it is that it does matter with this weapon.
Um, what's to note about this weapon too is that it doesn't get grenade boosts. So that doesn't help it either. And we ran out of bullets again. Just gonna kill him with the flag right here. That's actually a good weapon. Um, so there are no enemies left here. And that was the rifle on Claptrap. So it's a pretty shitty weapon. I wouldn't recommend this one. But um, anyways, if you guys got any more suggestions on any weapon or item I should be testing on any class, just let me know in the comments below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. See ya.